Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all what I've been up to for the last couple of days. Um, I have um, been, I told y'all in my last vlog, I think it was, that I was watching uh, Downtown Abbey. And, um, I have, um, now I want to start watching the movies. Um, I became, like, a really big fan in, of Downton Abbey and the last couple of days. Anyway, um, have you ever watched something and you didn't really think you would like it, but then, you know, after you start watching it for, like, say, the last couple of hours... And then you really, really like it, like a show or a movie, and um, and then you want to watch it again. Like after I got through, um, like after I binge watched the last few episodes, I wanted to start watching again because I only like yesterday I only had like four episodes left, and I didn't get done till almost finished watching them to almost like eight o'clock last night and then I had to come in here and cook dinner I know that's really kind of late but um I had me um we got some of these they are right but just the sweet and I guess you can say sweet and savory but it's um these pancake and sausage it's like a corn dog, but with sausage. These Jimmy Dean pancake and sausage. I don't want to drop them because it's already opened. But, yeah. To me, it just... I don't know if it's my opinion, but I just don't like the taste. That I like the sausage. I just don't like it with the pancake together. And he, he keeps telling me just eat it with, you know, syrup. And I'm one of those kind of, I'm I'm one of those kind of pizza I mean people that um I don't I've always I mean, ever since I was younger, um, I used to like syrup on my pancakes and it's very rare that I still put syrup on my pancakes. Most of the time, I just like it with butter now. And I don't know if it's because um, over the years, um, if you don't, you can skip this part if you don't want to hear about this part. But anyway, it could be because over the years, I when even when I was younger, the more sweets I eat and the more sugar stuff I ate, um, it didn't matter if I brushed my teeth two times a day, just once times a day, I would get my I would get cavities. I would get you know. So sometimes it's better for me to not eat a lot of sweets, but I do like eating sweets still. But, and, but like I said, over the years, it seems like that I just don't like eating syrup on my pancakes. I know that's probably weird, but, um, and I have a little bit of a stomach ache right now, but I'm not going to talk about that. Um, probably I have another, I mean, I have about two or three videos already planned that, like, I wrote it down, but I know what I'm going to do. But anyway, um, after I finish, I'm kind of tired, getting tired right now. So, um, I may go lay down and watch some TV. I haven't made up my mind yet. But anyway, um, my dog is bothering me. 
like getting on my nerves like he wants me to go lay down and I know if I do I'll probably fall asleep and but like I said I'm probably gonna get up early in the morning and probably after I drink this I will um, there um, I don't know if I said this before, but I always have something like right beside my bed. Like it's either water, tea, it's mainly water or tea, um, right before I go to sleep. Because sometimes at night, um, I don't know if it's like this for everybody, but sometimes I'll wake up and I get really thirsty. And, and if I don't have like water or something like that. Most of the times it's water if it's not tea. I just wake up and I get really thirsty. Um, and I just, I'll just have like a little sip and then go back to sleep. So, and um, I still have a little bit of a sore throat, but it's not as bad. So I'm probably gonna um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and get me some. Um, I don't know what this happens to everybody, but you know, like sometimes you can you can t take cough drops, or you can uh, you can basically. What I'm meaning is most of the time, like when I have a cold or when I if. I haven't had bronchitis in a long time, but most of the time when I'm sick, um, it's better for me just to, like, if I have, I take my, um, allergy medicine, it's better for me just to go ahead and take cough syrup or, like, you know, say if they give you something like that, just a liquid cough syrup, it's better for me to take that to get rid of the sore throat and the cough and then or stuff like that and then it will go away because if if you've ever felt like you know the drainage and the cough and then it just it just keeps staying there and then you know that that you can't stand that that feeling when it goes down your throat and I know I, I, I've said before that I get sick every few months, but sometimes it feels like every month or two. That's him getting excited because he did not die in his game. He, uh, what I'm trying to say is, Ethan, when he plays his video games, and sometimes his games aggravate him really bad. And I can tell because my dog will look at me and be like, what's going on? And be like, he's just mad at his game. Oh, and by the way, uh, and not this month, but next month, I'm going to be, um, I decided I'm going to do a lot more baking. Like, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I decided I'm going to try and bake almost every week. I don't see how in the world I'm going to do this. Like every other week or every week. So I think I'm going to start out with, um, I have a plan so far. At least some sort of plan. I'm going to try and do like basically do brownies or do the cookies that I make all the time. And, and then later on, I'll probably do recipes that I don't know. And, and then make pies, like homemade pies. And do other stuff like Rice Krispies and stuff like that. Um, I got the idea from watching that show. And, um, 
I was talking about a recipe that I don't know if it's exactly right, you know, but it's not like I could, uh, well, I could make it, but then I'd be the only one eating the cake, you know. But when I found out there was one thing that you might have to put in it or on top of the cake, I was like, no, I can't make that because I don't want to eat an entire cake by myself because normally a cake in this house lasts about four or five days. So, and a pie, when we buy, when we buy or pies are made, you know, or they're given to us normally. But anyway, yeah, when we, like when we eat pies for Thanksgiving, sometimes we get two or three and normally those are gone like within a day or so. But cakes that I make, I only make those every three to four months or every few months. I only make those on occasions, but I've kind of decided I'm going to do baking more often. And what I'm about to say, please don't laugh. I've never made a pie in my life. I've wanted to. I just don't know how. I've made cobblers. I've made like peach cobbler and stuff like that. But yeah, I've never made like an apple pie, you know, stuff like that. But that's one of my goals I am going to do is I'm going to start baking more. Um, like, yeah, I'm going to. I won't do the ones from scratch at first, but you know, the ones that I normally do, I will do those that are less that what I'm trying to say that I normally do. And probably I'll do like one or two a week and see. So, well, that could be our dessert for, you know, for after dinner or a snack because we normally have a snack. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get off here in a minute. <sighs> but anyway. I'm going to go ahead and get off here because my throat's kind of getting dry. And I got to go let Cloud in. But anyway, I will see y'all in the next vlog. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.